So you're doing some turning on your SIG C6 and you want to do some center drilling or drilling. You gotta move the tail stock to find your wrench, which is in my case conveniently placed here for the video. You loosen this off a couple turns, set your wrench down, wiggle the bolt, slide it forward. Once you get it into position, you grab your wrench again and you tighten that up with your turns. Turn your lathe on. Do your drilling operation. And then you slide the tailstock back out of the way, get your wrench. And you slide the they always fetch like that for some reason. Slide the tail. Slide the tailstock out of the way and tighten it back up. Now, I've seen a couple of people put uh, quick releases on here. Uh, I don't know what they do, but I'm going to show uh, what I did and how it works. So these are the pieces from the original setup. And these are pieces that I made. And I'll show you how they work and how they are put together. The only pieces that we use from the old setup are this block and the nut, which I turned a couple of millimeters off of. So the way this is assembled is we have uh, basically this piece which is bored out to fit nicely over this. All of this was built on my lathe, by the way. Um, I used a drill press, I guess, was the only other tool that I used. I used some, some taps and dies instead of threading everything on the lathe, but so that fits on there. And yes, even this machining work was done on my lathe. Okay, now we have this pin here that goes through this guy. And if you look closely at that, you can maybe see that the hole is off center. So it's three millimeters offset. Anyway, so this thread's in there. It's hard to do this on camera one-handed, but that thread's on there. This together. It's a bit of a bit of a struggle doing this one-handed. All right, so that goes on there. And this tightens in. I won't tighten it in all the way right now because. This is basically just a demonstration of how this works. We've got that threaded together, and your quick release handle threads in here. This piece. Right into the bottom of there. That sleeve. Yeah. Oh, that's not going on there the right way. Not that it matters much, but it's quite a quite a snug fit. So. goes on there. This goes on like that. And the original nut threads on the bottom. I keep wanting to use my camera hands to assist. Okay, so that sits in there like that. 
what happens, the lever sits in the upright position, and when you move the lever down, you can see this plunger moves down because of this being, because of this cam being offset. Let's see if we can get a close up of it. When I move the cam, that moves down a couple of millimeters. And that's what does the tightening. So I'll assemble it now and try to get a couple of shots of putting it together and then show you how it works. All right, so I've got all the pieces here. And the way I do it, the easiest way to do it, I think, is to thread the nut on first. Put it through this piece. Oops. Put it through that piece, put that piece through the hole in the, the bottom so that it comes up into the tailstock. And once it's protruding into the tailstock, you've got to put this piece in here because it won't go in after. As you can see, there's not a lot of room to work in here. So you've got to get that to thread in there once that's on. And it's a little bit tricky to do it with one hand, but we get it. Okay, so now that we have that on there loosely, we can put the tail stock on the machine. Something like that. Try not to drop everything on the floor. And we line up our, oh, see if we can get the shot here. We line up the T-nut, slide it into place so that it's now on there. And we take and tighten up this nut thing on top. All right. So we've got it assembled this far. Now we need to put the handle in. So we've got the handle together like this. And we start threading that in. Sorry, I'm trying to watch what I'm doing. I'm having a hard time filming at the same time. We'll just test it to make sure we're in the right spot. And yep, we are. So now we just tighten this up. I'll finish tightening this up and then I'll show you how it works. All right, so here it is completely assembled and our tailstock is very secure. You can give a good push on it, it's not going anywhere. If I wanna change the position of it now, all I do is flip this handle up, slide it down to where I want it to be and flip my handle back down. And then I can do my drilling operation. When I'm finished, flip the handle up, move it back, lock it down. And that's it. I'm not sure that uh, the camera will make it obvious how this works, but uh, basically what's happening here, this piece is off center. So as I rotate the lever down, the cam pushes down on the aluminum which pulls up on the bolt and tightens the whole thing down so we'll see if we can you can see here there's there's play and as we move this down you can see it actually pulls this piece up and that's how it works <laughs>